Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're talking the huge Caucasian Shepherd. Wow! Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're talking baby Caucasian Shepherds. Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're meeting the mighty Maximus, the biggest Caucasian Shepherd in the United Kingdom. Maximus was the world's largest Caucasian Shepherd and his episodes were shared all over the world. But I'm sad to announce that the big guy died peacefully this month from a brain tumour, held in the arms of his loving human, Brendan. The Caucasian Shepherd is considered to be one of the world's most ferocious dog breeds. He can defend his flock against wolves, and many have been said to have easily killed wolves. An unsocialized Caucasian Shepherd can truly be a dangerous dog if you stumble across one while hiking in the Caucasian mountains. So what happened when I met Maximus for the first time? And what did he do when he met tiny kids? What did he do when we introduced a tiny snappy Jack Russell to him? Also, what did he do when I lay on the floor in front of him just seconds after meeting him for the first time? I even touched his puppies in front of him. Did he care that I did? Today is not a sad episode, but one where we rejoice in the amazing dog Maximus was and the legacy he left. Animal Watch will miss you. Maximus was the biggest star of Animal Watch and possibly the biggest Caucasian Shepherd in the whole world. The charisma and draw Maximus had was evident the first time I met him three years ago. I took a chance and opted to not meet him prior to filming as I wanted to see his genuine reaction when I saw him for the first time. This was a huge mastiff head and mouth, and when he panted, I could see row upon row of glinting incisors. I think he could have got my small head in that mouth. Well, certainly my neck. Once inside the house, I remember just how calm he was. He listened to Brendan when he said I was a friend. So of course I go and do something daft, such as lie on the floor right in front of him. Honestly, this could have gone terribly wrong if he had been unsocialized, but I sense that despite Maximus's huge size and weight and his massive crushing jaws and teeth, that he was fair and kind. He sensed I was friend, not foe, and Brendan had socialized him extremely well and trained him to listen to his wishes. I was aware that every now and then his eyes would dart back towards Brendan, as if to say, am I doing what you want? He constantly needed affirmation from Brendan, showing how loyal this breed is to his owner, a true guardian. When he wasn't glancing at Brendan, he would be constantly looking outside to check for exterior threats. Guardian breeds, especially flock guardians, can never switch off and despite him being in our presence, he was never truly focused on us. It was as if he could hear everything happening on the road outside. One of my favorite episodes was when we took Maximus out to the park to meet other dogs and small children, just to show just how well trained and sweet he really was. Maximus caused people to stop constantly and ask to pet him. It was surprising how few people were scared of him. In fact, quite the opposite. He was considered cute and cuddly to most who petted him. A little girl got up really close to him and touched him. This could have been disastrous if he had been dangerous, but Brendan had truly made an ambassador out of Maximus. One of my favorite clips was Maximus pulling Brendan down the hill. Just showed how strong and powerful he really was.
And then there were his puppies. When I visited Maximus to meet his babies, nothing prepared me for how huge they were. I had to lift them up for photos to camera and my arm almost fell off. These were really young puppies and already heavier than many full-grown dog breeds. The puppies were so relaxed and one big male took a shine to me and lay under my feet. You could say he had chosen me. I was so tempted to take him home with me, but having five dogs already, I was not able to. I wonder where he is now, as he would have been a whopper. And then we decided to introduce a small Jack Russell to Maximus, as Brendan really loves the breed. But as you know, Jack Russells can be pretty temperamental, and this one was, well, a little bit fiery. We brought her into the house and waited with bated breath. But Maximus loved her and let her climb all over him. In fact, the trouble lay more with a female Caucasian Shepherd outside. The Jack Russell snapped at the female and she retaliated, so they were separated. Brendan issued this statement to Animal Watch after Maximus's passing. Maximus has left a massive legacy. He was a one of a kind and had the truest of hearts. He will never die as we have his sons and daughters and they will help him live on. Northwest Caucasian Shepherds would like to thank everyone over the years for watching Animal Watch and also Annika for helping people learn about how truly magical and magnificent this breed really is. One such son is the handsome Thor, who we can see takes after his giant dad in looks and temperament. Animal Watch really hopes that we will hear more from Brendan and when he is ready, maybe he will introduce us to the new star of Animal Watch because the Caucasian Shepherd really is one of the most spectacular dog breeds in the whole world. Did you know there are even white Caucasian Shepherds out there? Just look at these photos. So finally, Maximus, thank you so much for sharing your life with us. And thank you so much for making such spectacular episodes for Animal Watch. You truly will live on through all the episodes that we have made with you, which will stay online. You leave a fantastic legacy. Please like and share this episode in memorandum of the mighty Maximus. And if you think that you have a dog star just like Maximus, then please contact us. We're always on the lookout for the next Animal Watch star. And please subscribe by clicking in the bottom hand corner. And remember to tune in every single week where we'll be bringing you more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now.